Here it is, the big lore dumping video. Hey everybody, this is Ku Impact with Let's Play Maze Mystery, Forbidden Memories, and we're gonna do some lore. First of all, this. Got the second part of the map, this of uh, this mysterious map from Percival Keller. He said this piece dropped from Uter's pocket the last time he visited Uter's house. I hope the map will be used, use to, uh, some use to me. Well, that's two map pieces. Let's go talk about character. We met quite a guy so far, so let's start with the beginning. May uh, Maystery. Maystery is an ordinary girl with an extraordinary talent for math and science, and has a passion for puzzles. When her balloon crashes from her and her brother disappears, she begins an unbelievable adventure. Is it just me, or or does her satchel look like it is a hand axe that is holstered under her arm incorrectly? Yeah, it's got the metal blade part and everything. <laughs> a little weird. Terry Sterry, the stupidest named man alive. Um, he's a typical little boy, a little misbehaved, full of imagination, and always happy. When a balloon carrying him and his sister May crashes just outside of town, they don't know. Uh, they don't know he mysteriously disappears. AKA, he dead as hell. We did read Renee. I just realized we read these three. Let's go to Alphonse. Alphonse is one of the few musicians in Dragonville. Although extraordinarily talented, Alphonse isn't able to play happy melodies on his instrument because the Midnight Guard took his monkey, Augenstein, away. We have not met yet. Matthew Zalem. Is he supposed to be like Mausoleum? Is that his pun? Matthew is the guard at the Ballooning Victims Museum in Dragonville. No one knows how old Matthew is, but people suspect he's indeed very, very old. That's why on each new day, a different body part aches and troubles him. Arthur Doyle is Dragon Mill's witty ex-mayor. When Uther became, uh, came into power, Doyle not only lost his position, but also lost his property. He now mostly lives in the Ballooning Victims Museum. He's, he, he looks like Houdini. He has like a, a magician outfit on, and we did meet clowns? Lucatello, who doesn't have a last name. Lucatello is an orphan that the town's blacksmith raised as his own son. Since he likes to hide most of the time, he has grown apart uh, from other children. Lucatello shows himself to May, though, and helps her during her adventure. He's an antisocial, except when it comes to May? That's a little weird. We never met one of these, but hey, look, it's in our book. Midnight Guard. The Midnight Guards are Uther's loyal men who do all of Uther's dirty work. Nobody knows who hides under the, the mask of the Midnight Guards, and there are all kinds of stories being told about them all over Dragonville. Yeah, kind of sus. I don't have the sound bite I would play it here, but it, I just don't have it. <laughs> Sammy Bing! Sammy is one of those sellers at the market in Dragonville. Trade is, his, uh, is in his blood. Sammy's father, grandfather, great-grandfather, and other ancestors used to sell at the same counter. Babushka! This old woman saw all kinds of odds and ends and things in her youth. Now she's a, uh, a counter at the market in Dragonville selling, well, all kinds of odds and ends and things. Alistair, the fortune teller's first words as a child were, was fire, and soon after uttering the phrase, his parents' house went down in flames. What? He's Nostradamus. Ever since that day, he's been trying to master his gift of fortune telling in order to help others. Hey, by the way, just letting you know, Nostradamus' last words were, I will no longer be a man in the morning, and he was dead. <laughs> and then he died. He was no longer a man in the morning. He was corpse. Corpse by morning. So, uh, don't call your death out. That is bench. You will jinx it. Just letting you know. Uh, Melanie. Melanie wanted to become a world-renowned author. Unfortunately, Destin, uh, uh, Destiny had other plans and made her a librarian instead. Melanie doesn't really like being a librarian. It makes her nervous. Well, I, I mean, it makes her count. Brickhammer. Brickhammer is the most sky, uh, skillful kite builder in Dragonville. When his parents disowned him because uh, because he announced he didn't want to follow in their footsteps, he moved to Dragonville. Being a uh, being a lawyer wasn't his cup of tea. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Socrates. Oh, it's Socrates, right? An eccentric fan of Dragonville's bugs. Socrates. Uh, shouldn't call him that. Socrates used to 
have his own band of insects that played and danced at his command. Everybody but Uther found that their dance was entertaining. Uther sent the bugs away as soon as he came to power. Billy Bone? Oh my god, that's his name? Billy Bones. This, this motherfucking guy. I love him. Billy works at the graveyard in Dragonville and is very dedicated to his work. Billy thinks all the people in Dragonville are mean and that only animals are good. If a person travels with an animal, he has more respect for them. Headless Joe. Headless Joe used to be one of the biggest attractions at Uther's Circus, a talented performer. He fell to the bottom of Uther's troupe when his eyesight got bad. Nevertheless, Headless Joe is uh, planning a big return. Malin Jones. Oh, Marvin, Malvin, Malvin Jones. Okay, so that's another U being a V up in the damn font. Malvin, I guess you would say. Not Melvin, it's M-A-L. Malvin Jones is Headless Joe's real face. As a young kid, he realized the power of comedy. Using his talent as a ventriloquist, he has been entertaining audiences at Uther Circus for many years under the alias Headless Joe. That's why he looked different all of a sudden. It's Wakanga! Wakanga is one of the natives from the island that's under Uther's control now. Wakanga used to be a chief on the island, but he was fooled by Uther's empty promises and betrayed his people. Yeah, and now he's in a pit, digging holes, and dying. Oh, at least he's an airbender, though. Oh no, it's sweats. Oh, it's Virgil, Arizona. Oh, <laughs> God. This nervous little man is the best paleontologist in Dragonville. His duty is to maintain Uther's museum exhibition on the on the island. Can we get to the island? Is that going to happen? Is that a thing? Jimbo. Oh, God, he's so huge. Jimbo works as a storekeep uh, and also counts and packs the crystals that the natives from Uther's island dig up from the mine under Dragonville. Jimbo is not the sharpest tool in the shed. He said, ah, uh, yeah. Oh, look, Jebediah. Jebediah works as a boatman on a river that runs underneath Dragonville. Although he looks a bit creepy, he's willing to help a traveler in need. Harley. This grumpy old man loves machines of any kind and accepts a job, uh, accepted a job from Uther with open arms. Harley watches over and makes all kinds of machines for Uther. Yeah, he's filling the pipes, right? Oh, and now we're at the end of our thing. Gertrude Keller. Gertrude was love, uh, or has loved spiders since she was a little girl. Now all grown up, spiders have become her obsession. Gertrude is dangerous because she doesn't hesitate to use her pets against people. Yeah, we played a mini game about it. Percival Keller. Percival is a very educated, well-read gentleman who gave up his dream of becoming a professor because of his wife Gertrude. Percival didn't realize until after he was married that his wife Gertrude despised his favorite snack, garlic. It was already too late. The marriage... It, it, it was something you gotta discuss before you get married, folks, about, like, food taste and, and disagreements like that. Herbert! Herbert has loved plants his whole life and has always preferred their company to that the, uh, that of the of other people. He watches over all kinds of plants in Uther's underground garden with true dedication. Then we just met Pepper! Oh, I love Pepper. Oh my god, look at that sprite. Pepper works at the crypto zoo selling trinkets. Although Pepper is a bit eccentric, she's the closest thing to a normal person in Dragonville. Meanwhile, in Dragonville, things are terrible. On top of that, let's go clear out some of these puzzles today. We might as well. Let's go look for shit in the gym! Gym! So we need a megaphone, a flower, a letter S, a bandage, a whistle, a record. Is it when they say letter S, do they mean that S that everybody makes on everything with the little pen, like the one that's all hexagonal? Hexagonal, I'm sorry, that's how you say that word. We need some clubs, an ice skate, button, and a baseball player. There's a clubs. Not a spider. We don't need a spider. Why am I clicking a spider? There's a megaphone. Flower. Not a star. A duck, that's a bell. There's a button. Not a club, that's an, uh, that's an ace of spades. Ace of spades. We already made this joke. Eight. Hit a record. That was my favorite record. There's a compass. Where? Oh, where? There's a pyramid. 
This one? I need a letter S. I haven't seen an S. S? What do you mean S? There's the bandage. Why just randomly the letter S? Arrow? There's a domino. I love these seeking finds, but my god. There's some weird shit going on in them. Oh, letter S. That's not an 8. A record? not a record? None of these barbells are records? In disguise? Come on. You could disguise a, a, a record there. A baseball player. Not not just the baseball. Not just the, the thing. I need the player itself. There's the record. So big. I should have seen that. Get on a card? He hiding... Where would he be hiding? Fish. It's a fish, Roger. Player of baseball. You have to find the player. Be like a ghost? The ephemeral image? Oh, there it is. Holy smokes, I almost didn't see that. That's awesome. Ding dong, we did it. Points earned. Well done. Market stand! Let's go! Haha! <laughs> 69. <laughs> Immature me. We need a mousetrap, a seashell, a horse, a ruler, a comb, glasses, a caliper, a rugby ball, and a key. Caliper. You don't see that very often. There's a horse. Not a horse by what name you would expect, but hey. Mouse trap. Don't need a star. There is a seashell. Uh, this is the one where we need to find a comb. There's the key. If all those other ones had combs, there's a comb. glasses. Nice place to hide that. There's our caliper, also known as a compass. I love messing with the compass. I love fiddling with math. That's a baseball. We need a ruler and a rugby ball. Wrong ball. Legitimate sadness in my heart. There's tape in that bucket. That's not what we need. There's a dummy for babies, also known as pacifiers. Not a rugby ball. Where is the rugby? Ball? I think it's on the bigger side. Glowing light from the magic ball is just too bright. The ruler's got to be like in plain sight, and I'm just missing it. The rugby ball is the hidden one, right? Ultra hidden combo. That's a pumpkin. Oh, there's a rugby ball. Well, shit. I found the rugby ball before the ruler. That's kind of sad. There's the weights from the puzzle we did earlier. Where is this ruler? <laughs> Where are you, my ruler friend? I need to find you so I can put this all to an end. I need to be putting it in beginning again. Cause there's more things to seek and find. Except I might do a different puzzle after this one. Although I want to clear all the seek and finds because there's going to be a ton of them. At the end of the day, you know they made a lot of these. Every time I want to do. Also, math will kill me. It's literally my, my one weakness. Who impact can't do math? Not even on a calculator, or in his head. Or anywhere. I don't work in finances, I don't do that end of stuff. I, I just put little pretty lines on the canvas and color them in and straighten them up. And, and layers and layers and layers and whoa. 
Oh, we might not be doing another one after this if I can't find the ruler. I know you've probably seen it already. Like, it's somewhere in the obvious open. If Ku didn't find it yet, that means that it's not actually hidden. Shut up. No game, please. Not that. No, that's a pyramid. That's not a ruler. To lean in and look for it. You're telling me the ruler ain't among all these bottles? Oh, there it is. Oh, no, come on, I see it. Yo, that was a pretty cool hiding spot for it, though. Well done. Hey, okay, we got 27 sliding puzzles. And 26 hidden picture puzzles. Okay. God, let's attempt one of these. <gasps> let's totally do it. I'm not the best at these, I will admit. I'm not good at these. But, um... You know Zephyr from the Collabs. He's actually really good at these. Hidden Picture 1. In Hidden Picture, you'll use logic to draw a picture in the grid. The puzzles look like the grids with the squares inside and have numbers written at the top and the bottom, uh, top and to the left. Each number represents a group of filled squares in a row or a column. There must be at least one blank square uh, between groups. It also is possible to mark empty fields with an X by tapping on the icon in the lower left corner. You can choose whether you'll be filling up the squares or marking the empty fields. You can do it, you can reverse it. It's got a reversing mode for it. So yeah. This is where things get real interesting. So we got numbers here. This one's a three, meaning it can't be this first square because there's none at the top row for three down, basically. This is one. Uh, so this row has like nothing in it for the picture, this top row. And the bottom row has nothing in it because there's no leftmost number. There's only a one and a one in this one. That's fun. Um, that's fun. Maybe we can do it reverse way. We can select and not select. So this is known as pick cross, I believe, is what it's called normally. But I didn't expect this to be in this game. I didn't think we'd be playing pick cross. So that's not an eighteen, by the way. That's a one and an eight. Meaning that it be one, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See? One, eight. If this is where it's at. That works for this column. You know what else works for this column? Oh, wait. No, no, no. I didn't want to use my tries. What the hell? Oh, God. This is punishing if you get it wrong. Oh no! So wait, this is just correct then. Like, this is all it can be. Same with this one then. Okay, so it punishes us if we get it wrong though. That's gonna be a problem because I do misclick. So this is one and a zero. And that's the three. So this is the three for the picture. You mean one and a zero? Because we have tries. That's not norm. Is that normally in Picross? I guess it is. You can't play it casually, huh? Here 
There's definitely one there. <laughs> and then it'd be a space, and then it's a one. Nope. Ugh. Oh, because it can't be. It's one. Oh, but you can go for more than... I, I know where I messed up. Because it'll be there, there. Needs to be five. There's our five. There's our five, yep. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh... <laughs> uh ha 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 ha! <laughs> there needs to be six in a row here, and if one is here, then it's one, two... I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean... See, but it can be six this way, cause... And then this will be the three, right? The back end. Or is the three not gonna be there? Nope. So it does just... These are the six. Alright. Meaning logically, these are those six. Logically. A one and a one. Kind of annoying. Oh, there's your five, five, five. And there's our one, one, one for eight. That makes the two. It's gonna be a submarine? That's a five. There's a three. There's the one. A fish? A submarine? I mean, that's all good. I was about to say, I solved it. Hey. A submarine! Well done! We earned the max points without blowing our tries. Alright, I'll do one more hidden picture. Because I like the cross. We got a lot of these, so we might as well do another one. <laughs> oh god, here we go. Once you start solving a portion of it- What the f- <laughs> Well, this is gonna get a little stupid. Um... Well, Reggie... This is gonna get a little rough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's one and one. One, one. Only ten total. Yeah. Ew, grig this is gonna get so gribsy. This is gonna get so greasy. This is a two and then one's across? Oh no. <laughs> No, 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 you gotta be kidding. Um, so logically one's there, right? <laughs> but now a two has the touch. Oh, it's the... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do I still get 30 points? Only eight across? Oh yeah, I, what am I doing? That's eight. Oh, so one, one? Do I still get 30 points for that, though? If I lose points because I lost tries, I will reload. I wasn't even sure what that image was. No, I still got the full points. Okay, one more. One more, one more. That was a weird one. Okay, see, this one's a little more complicated. This one's a little more complicated. Needle more central. It can't be this one, because there's one in that column. That would make no sense. Three in that column. Be one there, that's fine. Three and then five. There's only one in this entire shebang, so that's gonna be the last one we put in. 
There's three and they're touching. No? That makes sense, yeah. Nope, not that one. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. So, I'm gonna say since this is a 4 and a 2, that the 2 is there, and then this is our 4. Yeah, okay. So, so we're, we, we, we got some posterity going on. We took an X, we took a little bit of an L. And since these are 8, and it can't be these ones, the 8 are gonna be this direction. 1, 2, 3. Alright, that's 4. 4. That's a three. It's gonna be seven and then a two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's starting to come together. We should finish these eights at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eh, eh, eh. Sounds good. This has to be a straight up a nine, so it's one. And these are the five. Yup. It's gonna be a nine, so it's gonna be there. Three, two, three. Oops. Oh, three, two, two. I misread. Three, two, two. All right. Cool. Five, six, seven. Oh wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yup. This is gonna be a three, and this is a three. This is a two and a three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's gonna be there. It's gonna be a five. This is gonna be a five. Nine. Ten. 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 No, oh, other way. Oh, 10 and 1. It's some kind of granny face! Whoa! We took some red lights in that one too, but it's okay, I wasn't reading. I, I misread. Woohoo! We did it! Oh, these are fun. Now this is fun! Why is this not part of the main game? What, don't save my score. 30, 30, 30. Yep. You know what, I guess we'll continue clearing out more stuff. We'll look at more of these puzzles in the next video as well. I want to do them now because we're more than halfway done the game. And by that I mean we're at the halfway point. And we all know the main story puzzles are going to be music. So we might as well do these. So this has been Quimpack with Let's Play. Maze Mysteries, Forbidden Memories. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment next time. More puzzles. Ooh, puzzles and puzzles, my favorite.